Welcome back. I'm Dr. Ruckus, and today we are playing the Jace Gin Combo in Mono Blue Tempo. Jace, in and of itself, is a very powerful three drop, can come down, and you don't have to hold open mana to protect it, unlike the Gin, as there isn't quite as much removal just for planeswalkers as there is for creatures, and it can defend itself easily enough by giving the opponent's creature minus three, minus oh. Once it's down, you have two options. You can go the slow route, you know, the long game, the grindy route, minus two, mill yourself for three cards, both powering up the Jin and making the Terror cheaper, drawing a card, and by the way, if you have 20 more cards in the graveyard, you actually draw three cards off of that. So that is a very reasonable strategy, and you can do it, and in some cases, it's definitely right. But the more fun route is to just plus to the moon. Start plusing Jace, eventually get the Jin down, and when your opponent least suspects it, Maybe the Jin's got, you know, it's a 2-4, it's a 3-4, no big deal. You minus the minus X the Jace, mill yourself for, you know, 15, 18, 21 cards, pump the Jin to the moon, and if you have the second Jace, drop the next Jace, mill, mill yourself for 15, and just swing for the fences with the Jin. Super satisfying. So, and honestly, I don't think it's bad at all. Again, it's a very solid 3-drop, can come down and defend itself. Um, so I, I've been enjoying it a lot today. We also threw in one copy of Blue Sun's Twilight just because I thought this card was sweet and wanted to try it out and to make space for some of the stuff. We basically took out Delver, which not everyone runs on one anyway. That's the deck. Enjoy the gameplay. Let's dive right in. On the play with a counterspell into Jace. Let's go. Okay. Hideaway. All right. Let's see if they're uh, Golgari beat down. Nope, not yet. Hold the counterspell on two. Yeah, we'll go ahead and drop this guy off. Slam the Jace. The question is, do we want to draw? Or do we want to... Um, just plus and go for the mill win? We have a lot of removal. We probably just need to draw into some... Um, some protection spells for the Jin. Alright, bin three lands. Draw a counter for a creature, but not to protect the Jin yet. Fable comes down, uncontested. Okay, game on. More land, but again, we can't protect the Jin yet. I think we still go for it here. Plus on you. Odawara. I think we'll play out the basic island and hold Odawara. Other option is to play out the Odawara and hold the island for a... Um, for the draw spell, but it's okay. We've got the Essence Scatter for the Sheldred if they go for it here. But no protection for the Jin. So this is unfortunate because it's a free attack unless we use the impulse, but then we can't counter the Sheldred. I think we probably have to counter the Sheldred. So um We'll take the block, but I don't think we're killing it this turn. Okay. Zero damage done. They go for Shelly. Perfect. We have the counter for it. One mana left. Cut down on the Jin. Okay. One Jin down. Fading Hope. Now we have protection. That's pretty nice. Play out the next land. Continue to plus the Jace. Play out the Jin and hold both Impulse and Fading Hope. Could Fading Hope the token, but that's our only protection spell for the Jin, so we have to save it, really. Give him more treasure, sadly. Okay, Harvester. Let that go for now. We'll have to deal with it eventually, though. Okay. Two attackers. They don't go for more treasure. Can Fading Hope the token? Still, we need for protection, so we're just going to impulse here first. Backup Jin's okay. It's probably our best option here. But we need to, um, I probably have to wait till our turn. We can let him kill the first Jin. We can't let him copy the Harvester, though. That's a really big issue. But I want to be mana efficient. We're going to put our shields down for a second. Let him kill the first Jin if they want to. And I think we have to pick off the Kiki Cheeky. We can't let him copy the Harvester. So, there you go. You get to replay it. Okay, more land. Let's not take that right now. And let's see if they can punish us. They don't have the rules, so we hit the next Fading Hope, too. It's quite nice. I think we can minus the Jace and draw a card. Mill ourselves. Okay. A couple instances of sorceries down there. Hit the next land drop. Not amazing, but not awful. 
Swing here for six. Try to get him low enough in range of lethal. When it drops to 14, we play out the next gin here. And we're fine to hold the land for the time being. I think that's okay. Okay, they don't take the blood token cycles. Maybe they have backup harvester here. That'd be unfortunate, but nothing we can do other than protect the first gin with fading hope. Okay, so they want the treasure. I don't think we need Jace anymore. I don't think it's worth the block in case they have a cheap removal spell. If they have Vulture Surge, they can use it anyway, though. So what would it have to be, then? It have to be a three damage spell? That's still reasonable. All right, let's let Jace go. No blocks here. Let's try to keep lethal presented. Jace goes down. They could have a Braid, for example. Backup Fable, okay. That doesn't solve their issue yet. Okay, so there's the Abrade. It only does three damage, though. So they have one more to go. This is why we didn't block the, the Goblin Shaman earlier. Alright, so now we bounce. Okay. Jin back to the hand. Taking off lethal. Backup chase. It's fine, I guess. Okay. It's uh, tempting to try to just minus 15 ourselves and then try to bin, you know, seven instant sorceries, but that's not super reasonable, I don't think. It's close to reasonable, but uh, I don't think we're 50% instant sorceries. It's tempting. Should I go for it? Oh, I want to go for it. I don't think we are, but I want to. <laughs> okay, so I guess we're just going to plus instead. Oh, it's so tempting. Should I just go for it? Oh, come on. Never didn't have it. Never didn't have it. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, mil 15. Okay, minus X. This is just for the memes. This is for the memes, lad. Okay. How many do we get? Let's go. <laughs> oh, okay. Please don't have Vulture Surge here. I'll be so sad. Oh, we get there. Totally unnecessary, but extremely satisfying. Jace Jin combo for the win. When it goes first, we can consider on one. Not sure if we'll have a spell pierce target or not. Hello there, Jose David. Jose David. Rather, Esper it is, okay. Hit the island down, hold consider, but almost certainly use it unless they give us a really juicy turn two spell pierce target. Looks like they won't. Take the consider. Don't think we need that next land. I already have um, four essentially here. Okay, there we go. All right, well, just hanging out. If they were red, we'd hope for a Kiki Jiki on turn three, but maybe we'll get a wedding announcement if we're lucky. Ooh, called it. Okay. Wedding announcement down. Feels good. Not going to slam the Jin here. Maybe we play out Odawara, keep these islands to make sure we guarantee the thirst. I'm okay with that. It's nice if you can Odawara, but you don't have to save it. Sometimes it's better to just play it out. Guarantee you get your nice draws off with the Thirst. Let's see if it's Shelly. Rafine, okay. Fine, let that go. Okay, so we have to deal with the Flyer now. But it's not big yet. Try to Thirst here. A lot of land, okay. We do have Fading Hope to protect the Djinn and also a Negate, so I think we'll go for it here. It's not amazing, but um, I like the idea that we're threatening to kill the Rafine if they attack. Maybe that will disincentivize them. We'll see. End here. I think I'll just attack and make it a 2-5, though. So We'll just hold negate. See what happens. Okay. Make it a 2-5. They shouldn't have any damage base removal here, so we'll go ahead and block. Should be fine. Okay. They bounce. That's all for the turn. Okay. Chase is cute. It's expensive, but I guess we can target the Rafine. It's probably better to just thirst this turn. I mean, they clearly have all their mana open, so we probably don't need to run out Chase right now. 
And I think we hold back the Jin. We can potentially make the Jin big enough to block the Rafine effectively, actually. All right, holding steady here. Go for the throat. We'll try to negate this. So we are burning up mana on our turn. And we'll see if they have more goodies on their turn. Takanuma, sure. Mill some cards. Can, back, can get back an Emperor, which is a little annoying for us. Yep, there she is. Okay. Okay, looks like they want to attack again. They don't have double white to flash in the Emperor, actually. So that's not an option for them. So they get the connive off here. Drop a cut down to 3-6. We can very easily make the Jin big enough to block successfully here. Let's see what we want to do first. Take our thirst. They bounce the Jin. Okay, fine. In that case, I guess we dropped the land. I was potentially going to make the Jin big, but we got some gas here. Maybe we even take the Rafine at some point with the Blue Sun's Twilight. That would take a lot of mana, though. We need one more land for that to happen. Okay, down to 17. They have two cards left, and we know what one of them is, though. There's only Ward 1. We could bounce it if we really wanted to. Maybe we'll do that before combat on their turn. I mean, if we hit the land and we just take it, that's disgusting, right? So I think I'm down to try. Let's give it a turn. We hit the land. Let's just take their card, right? That's so satisfying. That's so satisfying, right? So X equals 3, pay the ward cost. Yeah. Let's go for it. Why not? Okay. Yep, I'm sure. Pay the ward cost, resolve, auto pay. Is that the best move? Is it the most efficient? Probably not, but it's pretty damn fun. All right, flash in the Emperor now. They can target their own Ravine if they want. I hope you're ready to lose. They do, understandable. That's fine, we get to resolve a Jace and a Jin, maybe a Terror as well. Don't need to overextend too much though. Let's definitely get the Jin down. And yeah, I think we can get Jace for three. It'll pay. And I think I'm good to just draw here. We can self mill. Okay. Looking good. End here. Hold Fading Hope and Make Despair. Mondrak. So they can pay for Make Despair. So I guess we let that go. We can always bounce it as needed. Maybe counter another turn. Sack the Emperor. So they must have a backup then. Okay, there's a little bit of pause here. Um, I don't think we uh, go for the impulse. I think we keep the gin around. Guarantee protection. That was quick, though. Nah, I don't think they have the stick. Resolute reinforcements. All right, one, I was completely wrong. They just passed really quickly. Uh, but two, that's okay. Terror's good. Honestly, consider is very good, too. I'll take the impulse here. The gate's okay. So how do we want to do this? I think we can start with an impulse. See what there is to see. Back of Jace. Jin's good. Fading Hope is okay as well. I'll take the next Jin. And I think we'll deploy the next Jin. We're going to bounce the Mondrak. We don't really need to. I mean, they have a good chunk of damage, but not enough. So we'll play out 8 Terra here, just for fun. Hold a couple options, and swing for 9. In the air. Unblockable. When it drops to 13. Plus, just because we can. We might bounce the Mondrak, but... We'll put that here anyway. Okay, so really, they're probably Esper Mondrak. Try to make a bunch of tokens. Good game. Wedding announcement. I mean, we can negate it, but that doesn't make good games, so it doesn't matter. We'll let it go. In case they actually do have a sneaky way to win. Opponent's trying to gig your brain me, get me to use my counter spell, and then pick off the gin, but no, that's all. Okay. Getting the job done. Not awful. You can also scry off the grotto. Okay. Get an island down. Show them what's up. Green Rot Priest. Well, we probably have to bounce that now and counter it next turn, actually. 
So here we come. We got the scry. Negates. Probably just need to counter the spells. We need more land too. I think we'll put away the negate for now. Okay. Take another scry. Jin's good, but we need more land, probably. I think we don't need that just yet. Okay, hold make disappear for the uh, creature again. All right, good. We can counter it this time. It's very important. It's their third land drop, though. We're a little bit out of luck. Hit the consider. Could try to hit the next land drop right now, but I don't think we can. We have to hold make disappear. And if we're lucky, they don't hit that third land drop. You can't run too many lands in this deck. But they hit it. Spell Thief, we can also counter. Also just let it go and hit the land, though. I think we'll counter this thing. If we keep their creatures off the board, they really have a tough time. Okay, to let it go, they think about something, though. I shouldn't have room for spell, um, spell Pierce in this deck, though. Past us. We hit the next land. That's huge. Looks like we'll consider this turn. Okay. And here. You can also Blue Sun's Twilight for cheap and just take one of their creatures, which is kind of interesting. Spell Thief returns. Let's take a consider here first. They don't have to counter it, but... At least fuels the terror either way. Jace. I don't think Jace is what we want in this matchup right now, actually. So let's bin you. Okay, another land's okay. Sure. Spell Thief resolves. Take the impulse as well. Okay. Another terror is looking pretty good here. We have the fourth land drop anyway. Yeah, let's take the next terror. Essence scatter is nice too. Okay. Feeling pretty good here. Manual taps. Let's drop the first terror. Hold the essence scatter for another rot priest. Five five lands. Into here does have Ward 2 on it, so very expensive to target. Combat Research. We might steal that with Blue Sun's Twilight this coming turn. Could be very cute. Start drawing against them. I like the sound of that. Now this does have uh, Ward 1, so it will be more expensive. We need one more land to pull that off, I guess. That's interesting. Yeah, we'll counter that. Makes the Terror cheaper, if nothing else. We hit the lands. So we can actually try to Blue Sun's Twilight here. I think we're attacking regardless. Let's start with the attack. And they might just uh, phase it out. Like, it's totally possible. Is that worth it, though? They run so much Hexproof, it's probably not worth it. It's very exciting to do, but I think it's probably better just to drop the Terror and put Lethal Pressure on them quickly. But it would be very fun to steal their thing and start drawing off the combat research. I just don't think it makes the most sense given how their deck is constructed. They obviously have sticks. They're going to have like Tamiyo safekeeping or, you know, phase out the spell thief. All right, Drake comes down. Okay. You have to draw the cards, but we put a lot of pressure on them. I think we just attack here. Again, I really don't think the Blue Sun's Twilight is going to resolve. They eat both. Okay. We can hold on to the land here, actually. And let's see if they use spells now on the Drake just to draw. They don't. Okay, they're down to five. These Ward 2s make it very expensive, even if they had something like Fading Hope or March of Swirling Mist. It's very expensive to target the Terrors. Audacity. They'll get some draws here and some damage, but not infinite damage. Security Bypass. Okay, again, I don't think they're getting to lethal yet. They do get to draw a lot of cards. Maybe the Connive is enough? Connive shouldn't happen until after the damage, though. Combat Research. They only have two green left. It's interesting. But how many can they attack with? They don't have enough mana to target the Terrors, so they can only attack with one. They can't attack with any, right? Unless they have Tamiyo Safekeeping to gain the extra two life. Maybe that's their play. Okay, do nothing. We hit the Spell Pierce. That's pretty nice. So I guess we try to target the Drake here for X equals 2, and then hold the Spell Pierce. They probably can pay for it, though, 
but I think this is the right play. So it's definitely X equals two. Make sure we manual tap here. Doesn't matter what we target, because they will they will target the J the Drake regardless to get the copy. So we'll target the Drake here to not have to pay the extra ward cost. Yep, so there's the safekeeping. That game's in the life, which does matter. Spell is not enough. They still have the two to resolve. Sadly, we don't have the hard counter. They go up by a lot of life, which does matter, and they draw the card. Yeah, that's tough. Twilight fails. Can't attack into the indestructible. So no attacks here. Take at least 10. See if they can pump it the rest of the way this turn. Infectious Bite as well. Wow. Okay. Ward 2, Spell Pierce 2. Still doesn't get there. They have a lot of land they've accumulated over the game. Okay. One Terror down. Keeps us off presenting lethal. Swing with just one. Down to ten. And they have lethal next turn. Draw two cards. Okay. Probably game. Backup Rock Priest as a blocker, most likely. Yeah, that's game. Okay. Whew. Did not get there. This is definitely a little bit awkward, but at least we're on the play. So we can get out ahead of the opponent and try to impulse into something good. Tap land, okay. Hold impulse here. Try to get something to protect the Jin so we can put it out on four. Selesnia so enchantments. Alright, there you go. Impulse away. Jace is kind of interesting. We can play it this turn too and be totally happy with that. I think let's do it. Back up Jace, okay. We'll slam Jace here. And go ahead and plus on the Naturalist. Okay. When it hits their third land drop, Hallowed Haunting on turn three. Okay. That'll matter against the Jin for sure. More land. Now what you want to see this instant. You could try to minus and get the protection spell. I was just plus and look for the, the mill wing combo. It's going to be tough as long as these things have flying. But they're not at flying yet. Maybe let's just plus and look for the mill. Okay, we'll try the first Jin here. There's not a massive amount of removal in this deck. They do have some of the three mana enchantments that exile things. Fourth land. Weaver of Harmony, okay. Can't copy anything this turn, maybe next turn. They're currently up to four, five enchantments now. Four spirits. Need seven or more enchantments total. Okay, that is a wide board right now. So they have five enchantments. They need two more to turn on them. Um, I'll take a free block here. I think let's just go for the Jace plan, right? I think we're going to lose otherwise. Let's freaking go. Okay. Minus five. Self mill, baby. Here we come. How big can we make the gin? Ten. All right. Show me, uh, show me some more. <laughs> okay. Minus five. Never didn't have it. Oh, come on, here we go. Oops. Okay. <sighs> Cross your fingers. 18 did not get there. Okay, maybe we won't lose on the crackback though. I don't know. Opponent drops a three. We tried. That was a valiant effort. The uh, the double Jace needed just a little more instant storage in the first couple turns, but kind of close. Let's see if they can go double enchantment this turn. Ossify, take the gin. Yeah, okay. We tried. I think that'll be game. Nothing we can do to combat that. We have no haste, and, um, you know, there's no way to overcome this board state with our deck. Marcher Swirling Mist even still can't target enough things, so that's game. <laughs> we went for it, though. Don't tell me we didn't go for it. On the play, and we can scry off the grotto into a third land drop. I like our odds here. Start on the island. See what we draw next turn before burning the scry. Okay. Looks like they want that land. Land on top is good. Let's try not to impulse this turn if we can. And hopefully we get something to counter. Yep, 
Yeah, that's something I would counter. Rot Priest down. Okay, so hit the next land drop, and they have no removal in their deck. So we should be able to slam the Jin here. Worst they could do is maybe Fading Hope it or something. Not this turn, though. Tap land comes in, they gain a life, and they scoop! Yeah! Turn three Jin. Let's go, baby. Okay, I had planned to play some more games for you, but Arena has decided to stop working, and I have to go to work. So, uh, if you enjoyed today's video, please consider dropping a like, subscribe, and a comment. All that helps out a ton. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.